Welcome to the Mario era, chapter 117. Ciento diecisiete de Mario. It's a game. It's a Mario. We got the things to talk about. It's just a spring game. It's a coming. It's a coming. <laughs> How was your trip, buddy? I think you got a bird's eye view of the cl- solar eclipse. Of yeah, totality. So got, uh, huh? Of totality, yeah. So the, so the whole point is obviously down here, you guys got some of it. You guys got like a partial eclipse, I guess, um, that apparently I've heard was a little bit underwhelming. But yeah, so we drove up to Dayton. Uh, me, the wife, the dog, the fucking cat. <laughs> Stayed up in Dayton for a couple of days. But yeah, we went to the uh, this little park around the corner from our hotel in Beaver Creek. And it was really cool, man. I'm not going to lie. It was pretty fucking cool. It was a, definitely a cool experience. I can see why people that do it once definitely want to do it again and sometimes like chase those things around the globe. Um, but yeah, so I mean, like the, it, we're sitting there we're waiting. It's just, it's, you know, the whole process of a partial is like nothing. It doesn't really get a whole lot darker. And I'm like, shouldn't it be getting darker? Because it was only like a, a little bit of the sun left, but it was still, it was kind of dusky, but not like I thought it was going to be. Then all of a sudden totality hits and dude, shit went dark. Streetlights come on. <laughs> all the birds stop chirping. Um, the bees came out. And I got bees? multiple reports of this. Yes, bumblebees, like the fat ones, the fat fuckers <laughs> were like turned on by this thing or something. Um, it dropped like 10 degrees, wind picked up. And in every direction around you, you saw sunset, like orange, red, green. It was like being in a ring of fire. Pretty fucking cool. That's and the dope. diamond thing, the diamond thing. Yeah. That last fucking, yeah, insane. Yeah, it's totally can, cool. So once 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 it's blocked out, you can take off your glasses. You can take your glasses off, right? So when we took them off, and everyone, I talked to other friends uh, that were up there that I saw later on. We were all seeing the same thing in the lower left hand corner. There must have been like a big crater on the moon, or there was a big flare happening there on the sun because you saw this little piece of orange just shooting out. Shooting off. It was yeah. fucking awesome, dude. It was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. Uh, so the good news is in 2045, it comes through Florida. It does. It's going to be like Northern Palm Beach, Port St. Lucie yeah, area yeah. for totality. So yeah. not nearly an 18 hour drive. No. And uh, <laughs> exactly. if, I, if I'm still kicking, <laughs> exactly. I, will, uh, I exactly. will go to that for mm-hmm. sure. Right up the but street. Yeah, it was cool. It was cool. Let's go to Rose House. And, and road trips are fun. Yeah. I'm right here. That's right. You know what's yeah. absolutely horrible? <laughs> was that in the middle of that speech, and I'm dialed in, buddy. Toast. I was so dialed in. I'm like, listening you had me i, I just mm-hmm. had this picture of you like in the wind with like a chub like i'm like this is great i'm so happy for him to experience this <laughs> and my focus right cut out and i missed the whole damn story <laughs> i had to reboot it i don't know what happened <laughs> i'll have to listen back you'll listen to the pod we'll, we'll <laughs> get an additional download this week Good i heard grief. something about it. eventually it went totally dark and i'm like oh talk to me i heard about bees and then it just went oh dark 30 on me just oh like it God, went on you is. I oh, love it. Terrible. I love anyway. it. <laughs> that is terrible. <laughs> All right. So yeah. So so we so Ro mentioned it. We got uh, uh, what uh, booster and family uh, uh, spring game happening this Saturday. Uh, you know, five hundred people at, uh, at the at, at the track stadium. So what are we thinking, man? So uh, I was thinking we kind of go around and what two position groups are you going to be most excited to see? I think for me, it's quarterback because it's just different, right? We we're coming off the. The end of the Tyler Van Dyke era, we knew what we had with Tyler. We had our great moments. We had not so great moments. But you finally kind of are getting glimpses of the Cam Ward era. era. So I I, I want to see how that looks. I want to see how the backup position looks at the quarterback position as well. I'm very, very intrigued. Bitty, bitty intrigued. And then I want to go ahead and I want to see linebackers. I, I just want to see the linebackers because I, I know when the University of Miami is great at the linebacking core and they're fast and they move around and Keith Jackson, God rest his soul, you can't run outside on Miami. Like when we have good, fast linebackers and a quarterback, I think we're we're cooking. So those are my two positions. I was going through this whole thing, Scoop, before you do yours. So I went through every position group and had a little thing just because I didn't know which two I would get left with. I want to do different ones. And when I got to linebacker, all I said is, this, don't worry, Roe will do this. <laughs> you know me so well. True. Well, you go. Toast. You go second. You go second. Okay. All right. So that all right. way you're so, not you're not left with uh. Or whatever. I you know I got stuff for everything. I got stuff for everything. Okay. Uh, so how about this? I'll go with um. All right. I will go with. I'll do an offense and a defense. So my offense is going to be offensive line. Who can consistently stop Bain and Mesador? 
Let's see. I'm gonna see what happens with that battle. Um, second one is I'm gonna go with um, I'm gonna go with safety, which I view as the scariest position group on the team right now because I had no idea what we have. So I'm basically my my thing there is just somebody show me something. Just just give me some sort of confidence that I don't go into week one at Gainesville like terrified of the back end. Well, one thing I do know as far as which offensive lineman, I know Nigel Lee Kelly is not going to test any of them because he had intentions and now he hit the portal. That mm-hmm. that that one stung a little bit. That one stung. We had high hopes for Mr. Kelly. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. It's just one of those things, you know, at that position group, I'm not worried about it. I think Jason Taylor's done a phenomenal job. So I think we'll be okay there. But you're right, Toast. And I want everybody to remember. Messador is damn good. So we want to see. Pancake's been floating around at guard, been floating around back out to tackle. So let's see how he holds up, trying to find a spot on that offensive line as well. Um, obviously, the bigger Maui Noe, he's going to lock down a spot as well. So we'll we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Scooby. Uh, interestingly enough, I have two that neither of you guys mentioned. Good. If you say kicker, I'm going to kick you in the balls. Don't say kicker. Don't say punter either. Yeah. Oh. He's gonna say I was going to say kicker and punter. <laughs> no, you weren't. <laughs> <laughs> I was just, it was just all special teams for me. Um, I need to see running backs, right? Parrish is gone. Um, now, we're banged up a running back position. So you're really kind of floating down the chart here. So how much does Citizen play and how well does he play? How un. Uh, apprehensive does he look right because it's it was a big injury it's been a year and a half for him so you know can he go out there and look like uh the guy of old um and then i'll go to corners and i'm gonna one-up you toast Mm -hmm. i'm gonna one-up you on the scariest position on this team okay it's easily cornerbacks okay it's not even close we are so razor thin at the quarterback position uh scares me Scares me a lot, actually. Um, safeties, you 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 don't know what you have, but you kind of know what you have. Like these guys have been here, um, and you've got uh, and you've got a couple guys coming in. So these these are guys that have been in the program some, and if you're going to overtake them, you're going to be pretty good. Um, corners, you have DP two, which he was lights out last year. Um, who's opposite him, and that's the biggest thing, right? The kid from Vandy. Um, and then uh, you have Mr. Brown as well uh, coming into his second year, who I think will probably get the start opposite him. But they're so, so shallow in depth there um, that if one of those guys goes down, we're in, we're in a lot of trouble. Uh, and then I'm going to throw an honorable mention on here uh, only because I just it's not what position group do I want to see. I just want to see one guy. I just want to see Lofton. I want to see him all over the field. Say his name, Scoop. I, I don't remember his name. Oh, come on. Gee, I didn't even I know the name now. <laughs> Jaheim Bell. Number six. Oh, <laughs> anyway. Get the fuck out of here. Like, seriously. You You're go. not even trying. <laughs> I didn't oh, try. Goodness. I didn't try that time. You didn't give me enough time to, to, to ponder it in my head. And um, I will tell you right now, if I ask this guy right now, hey, Scoop, what's the last four on my social? Because he's done so many deals for me in the past. He'll tell me. He'll tell me. He probably knows, right? But he can't remember Jaheim Bell. I had no idea Jaheim Bell's name. Yeah. I actually had a conversation with someone the other day and called him Julian. I got <laughs> Bell right, but I had the I had the Greg, that's Julian, good. Julian, Julian Bell. Bell. Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ. <laughs> oh my goodness, dude. <laughs> um so I'll say with the uh, with the running back thing. Um, yeah, like I think that's like I think it's important to see if Trevante looks like the dual RB1 that I think we're all hoping that he is supposed to look like, that he was going to be before he got injured. Um, Because I think it's really important that we have, I mean, Fletcher's not playing right now, but you, we need to have that, that at least that two-headed monster. Now, the other thing is going to be the uh, the injury aspect with that room. Because it's been a room that has been getting hurt repeatedly. There has been re- uh, mentions about this kid from Oregon State, uh, Damian uh, Martinez. Yep. I think with him is that and he doesn't get hurt, but he's a beast and he's only going to go where he can start. He's not coming here to share the load with someone. Like you look at his stats, he is a starter, bro. He is and a he's starter. Just, he, he's only leaving because he lost his conference. 
He's at Oregon he, State. In yeah, there. yeah. Yeah, I uh, he's not guaranteed a spot anywhere. Like running back is really tough, right? I mean, mm. because you're going to they're not they're just not necessarily workhorses anymore. Right, but he is and he has been at Oregon State. And if he can find a place where he can still be that, he's not going to come and share the load with two other guys. I don't disagree. I don't, disagree. Yards. I mean, I don't again, disagree. Over a thousand yards. Yeah. That's, it's, I mean, look, at, look at his look. carries, bro. Like he's, I mean, he's four yards after contact. Like he's a, he's two thirty. He's a monster. He doesn't get hurt. Like he, he's not coming to share carries with two other guys. Did, and that's what he'd be just, doing here if those, if they're healthy. Did you, did you just like, uh, he's throwing a no hitter? <laughs> did, did you just do one of those? No yards after contact. I'm sorry. No, no, yeah, no I'm three. talking about like, yeah, he's always healthy. <laughs> Uh, I yeah, didn't. Right. I didn't say. Yeah. It. I heard him. I went right uh, past it. You just mad. I know he said it. Well, I was not here yet. Say. Oh, I was gonna is say. Is he I throwing it the toast, But I didn't say it because now. See, now you brought it up and you fucked the whole thing up. So if he comes here, and he gets expect hurt. injuries. It's on me. Okay. All right. Well done. I hope you don't yeah. listen to the show. Well, hopefully that. Hopefully that. That curse I can lift. No. You know what's so funny. It's because you just said that. I immediately <laughs> thought of the closet poo too. But I was right? like trying to formulate something like, well, how do we reverse this jinx curse? Who needs to shit in a closet? <laughs> Not it. Oh, God. <laughs> Not it. No. Yeah, I want to see if JB can, uh, you know, outperform Emery, who he lost to last year. Remember in that, in that spring game, both of them in the two scrimmages, like it was, I mean, Emery won that. You look better. So I want to see you after what happened last week with the shot over the bow. Could be the last time we see JB. Matters. All right, matters. I, 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 look. He's he's running some threes, mostly fours. I think the writing's on the wall there. Mm -hmm. Uh, That's me being speculative. Scoop. Um, I I just don't. I just don't see that progressing any further. I really don't. I mean, you've got Emery who comes back from whatever he comes back from and is getting much more uh, burn than JB. Uh, he's getting mentioned as being on the heels with Cam. Um, and you look, what? here's what bothers me about that. I do have an issue with it, and here's what it is. I saw, just like everybody else, the game plan when Emery Williams was your starter. We all saw it. Is is that is that it? Is that what we're getting? Because if that's what we're getting, it makes the whole JB thing even more ridiculous. Because we're just gonna ground and pound and let him throw forty seven screens a game. This is this is how we're gonna try to beat teams. If if that if it comes down to that, you're choosing that over what JB potentially brings the fuck out of here like I, that to me i just don't understand yeah i i, I don't get it get, get the fuck out of here get the fuck out of here <laughs> <laughs> right am i am i wrong about that like i saw it no, we saw not. it we all saw yeah. it is that what we get with that is that what we're choosing as being better no. Ultimately, as a no, third no, 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 dude, that was because you had a true freshman, and I think, and, and I think he went over conservative with it. I think that's what it is. It started to open up more in the second half. I mean, it was better against FSU than it was against Clemson. Like, I, I just, I think it was more of an overreaction to a true freshman. Honestly, I think I, I'm praying to God that's what it was. But that's what I'm going. That's what lets me sleep at night. Yeah. My take. Right. That's it. <laughs> That's it. That's that it. was that game. That was that game plan. That mm-hmm. was that game plan. Barf. Anything else from uh, the football you want to hit before we uh, touch on uh, baseball? In oops. Oh, I'm good. No. Yeah, I'm good. We got stuff oh, to so... talk about next week, and then we're going to start ramping up because then, believe it or not, summer one is closer than we think. Closer yeah, than we, I don't. I don't see us ramping up after next week. I see us taking a little bit of a no. you know six week fucking hitting the snooze button because it's going to be for six May. weeks. Yeah, but that's six. No, weeks. we got the <laughs> portal. What are you talking about? Dead, dead, oh, the dead. portal. We got the dead. summer and, ones here. That's fine. And I've 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 reversed course on this entirely. Oh boy. Oh, that was you from the. That was that me. was you. You tweeted that out. You son of a bitch. That was All me. Right. I re- talk I about totally it. Reverse course because it's just, what was the tweet. It. Fuck it. Just let it just let it all be a shit show. It gives us stuff to talk about. Everyone's coming and going and here and there and going. It's never, it's never going to get more muted 
than it is right now. It's just going to continue to he be wants whatever a this is. Port- well, he wants a mid-season. Yeah, 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 mid-season. He wants mid-season, yeah. yeah. After yeah, six games. Their, yeah, keep them on their after toes. After six games, or if it's <laughs> during your during the team's bye week, if you want to enter the portal, you can do it. Mini portal Can you get season. players like mid-season? Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, now that's something. If you could get players to flip mid-season, oh, wouldn't well, that we just have, be We wonderful. have a, a mid-season trade, den- trade deadline. Yeah. Works in other sports. Why don't we have a trade deadline? You get hey, you're close. You're close. Let's go get somebody to put you over the edge. What do you think? <laughs> All right. Uh, Speaking of idea. portal, before we get to hoops and some baseball news, um, he's back. So exactly. apparently, uh, due to overcrowding or COVID or I don't fucking know, um, they're releasing some, uh, you know, federal prisoners who aren't deemed a, you know, aren't going to go out and start shooting people in the street. So uh, one of them apparently was Nevin Shapiro, our old friend. Yeah. <laughs> Nevin. And he draw, so he gets out and he drops an IG, his first IG. Jenner's. So the NIL situation has become the biggest thing in college sports. Kids getting paid crazy money, pay for play. I guess people forgot where this really originated from. NIL, that's Nevin Image and Likeness. That's where that shit started. Anything else is a joke. That's how it went down. I'm looking for all the smoke. You want me? Come see me. So I have a question to pose to all three of you. We need a vote on this. Do we extend an invitation to him to appear on the pod? <laughs> <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> no, no, there this is, is so, not good. No, <laughs> it's not this. It's this. It's this. It's Get out of here. No, I wanted him to push a button. <laughs> he got, he got, I got two buttons for that. I too. mean, I'm down. No, well, <laughs> from you, a producer you, standpoint, I'll take the content. You know, it's up yeah. to you guys. No chance. Care. Okay. I'd like to. Can I like this show? I like coming on here with you guys. Yeah, that was no. stop. If Nevin Shapiro came on, yeah, bro. Most controversial booster in the history of the program: a convicted Ponzi schemer. Ah, we, owe it, we owe it to the people. That's not a conversation you want to have. Have you, you want to pick his brain at all? You just, listen. Did you listen to him? Oh, he is now, a cocky yeah. son of a bitch, dude. Yeah, he is an arrogant son of a bitch. The delusions like, have not. It's double Mellow. jeopardy. It's double. You know, it's double jeopardy. You can't. You can't get the 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 University of Miami in trouble. They're they're already right. I mean, yeah, already served. You, it's double yeah. jeopardy, buddy. Yeah, it's not like you can get them in more trouble or anything. Right? I mean, and we should do five questions with them. Oh Jesus <laughs> this Christ! This is, let's do it, Jenner's. This let's is a do terrible it. fucking idea. Get the <laughs> fuck out of here. <laughs> well, so I followed with, hey, with, oh, from the oh, air, oh, no. from from the Orange Boy account. I followed him with the OBB account. Yeah, it's so, yeah. happening it's happening and he only has a couple hundred followers so he noticed that he was started getting followed by us i'm sure it's a bold move cut well you know <laughs> I would you gotta see what else he drops in this is where content you know you gotta see what he drops and, and he drops another video like true. that and scoop knows this to be true in the background okay one of the most influential interviews we've ever done on this podcast came off the heels of me telling scoop this could go very badly it's true <laughs> yeah so and it went better than we could ever realize. So uh, we have a, I'm not I'm not looking to prop him up. He is what he is. He yeah. got us in a shitload of trouble. He went to federal prison for stealing life savings from people through a Ponzi scheme. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to sugarcoat any of that shit. But I don't know. It'd be interesting to just see what he has to say about shit. I mean, look, everything he did in terms of the money, he could do legally now. He got in trouble for that portion. Not, not right. No, not no, no, this, no. For, for made for booster off, stuff. Not the made offs. Not yes, the no, 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 no. The, the, the booster stuff he could that he did then that he got us on probation. No, remember, that's why we were on probation back in the early 2010s. It was the Nevin Shapiro, the check to Donna Shalala in the bowling alley. <laughs> that is a good picture. <laughs> it's a great picture. I have picture. a feeling. That, I have a feeling. By the time we even try to think about this podcast, uh-huh. we're going to get an email. <laughs> from who oh no he has my cell desist. he has my cell phone now he can just call me no cease and desist he has a gag order against him it would be in your no best he's interest. out he's free <laughs> no i'm just talking from the university of miami standpoint like no they don't know no. us yeah they already don't like us i mean what are you gonna do 
Ah, they love you. Come on. What are you talking about? They love you. I did <laughs> give it. I, I did. I did pass along your phone number. I didn't I tell you, you that. I, I, I passed along his number. I was mm -hmm. like, I, I was like, you, you fucking handle these situations. You're the one who puts us in them. <laughs> so there's a no Laranaga comment, you know. Yeah. No was comment. That tweet. No comment. <laughs> <laughs> hey, congratulations, by the way. All right, all right. So we're so we're gonna we're gonna reach out, Jenners. Bro, what are you doing? What's the, what's the worst he can say? Yeah. What, 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 well, what, what if he no, says the worst yes. he can say is yes, <laughs> <laughs> and then a lot worse than that. Which I'm he'll sure. be fucking well, so, proud. So here's, to do, well, so here's sure. the deal. So here's the deal. I mean, we can record it and see what it says. We don't have to. We're not going to stream it live. Oh no, we're doing this live. Oh my. God. No, <laughs> we're not. We don't do that. Do it live. <laughs> no. no yes. so I'm, I'm not. Even, I'm not even throwing that down. <laughs> no. <laughs> we'll, we'll find a restaurant to do. No. Look, I wouldn't mind oh, taping something just to see how it goes. Just to see how it goes. Yeah. And if we if we really hate it, we don't hate see, it. See, that's not yeah. that's if not a really, terrible idea. Listen, well, so there, that's what we'll we do. Yeah. Really hate it. If we really hate it, we will we will we will interview Nevin Shapiro. And if it's that bad, we will then we'll see if he says yes with Nevin Put Shapiro it. AI. I'm hey. sure if he listens to this, he'll be all in. Like, oh, I can't wait to talk to these guys. They're very optimistic about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> let me cut this the discussion part out of the podcast <laughs> no way all right let's let him come on here and and and, and gloat yeah i want to hear some of the stories yeah the prison stories no well oh. sure a couple of those but no, the, the, the party story. stories yeah i don't want to get into the andy dufresne aspect. i want to get into the i want to know if aspect. he ever tried to escape if he had a plan a plot well so there you he go see that. so there's a, a question shit and came out clean on the other side yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I would prefer to just talk to him about his prison experience <laughs> okay you can cover that angle of it <laughs> <laughs> beautiful uh -huh. listen i want to know is it all shuffleboard and hanging out in the sun or is it actually you know pounding rocks with a you know pickaxe a pickaxe yeah with chains on your ankles uh -huh. you know the, the old country for old man, whatever it all was yeah yeah did you go to jail in the 30s <laughs> I, I was thinking what was that movie with george Life? clooney when they're all in the prison gang <laughs> exactly. oh brother Life where art thou oh brother where <laughs> art thou there you go yeah oh, wait life was with martin the funniest Lawrence. part honestly the funniest part about that video he's wearing a u right yes. there on his lapel yes he is big ass u polo hmm. i'm like well so, well so was nevin shapiro that's what i was talking about yeah yeah exactly. <laughs> all right mm -hmm. um uh, so, uh, North Is that what he went in with? Is that what he went in with? Is that the security? I spot? don't, I don't think that was him walking out of jail in that jumpsuit with the U logo. No, well, I'm just, maybe he went in with it. That's what I'm saying. I don't know. Yeah. We can ask him if we have him on the pod. Hmm. You can ask him that question, Scoop. If that's the only shirt. Mm hmm. Yeah. If he went in with that shirt and was waiting for him when he got out. Yeah. In the bag. Mm hmm. Yeah. Those belongings. are the belongings. Yeah. Yeah. Talking about seeing movies. Okay. Does that even happen? Yeah, it happens. At a gate with like a gate thing and they hand you like a Ziploc bag with your shit in it? Yeah. Yeah. You never watched it. Or is it a manila envelope? What do they Reeds. say, Jenners? What do they Reeds. say when they when they give them the, the manila envelope? It's just been revoked. <laughs> yeah, of Di course. Diplomatic immunity. <laughs> of course. That's exactly how it goes down. They keep all your belongings and special stuff in a Ziploc bag. One thousand right. percent. So Norchad, he's uh, declared for gone, man. Yeah, I went to the NBA and he's hired an agent, so is not coming back. So that is, uh, uh, listen, he had a great, great couple years here. Mm -hmm. So props to him. Uh, nothing but love for him moving forward. Hope he uh, is successful in the NBA. And uh, listen, um, when you look at the season odds for next year for winning the title, like the the Canes are only like in thirty first place in terms of the betting odds. So folks are uh, liking the move so far. They know they got a top uh, five player coming in. So we'll see what happens. Hey, it's brighter there than it is for baseball, I'm afraid. Ooh. Yeah, baseball, just check the, just check, check the record. They have the third worst overall record in the ACC. Now, baseball is a weird sport. They're right at 500. They had a midweek game. They finally beat FAU. Uh, bats Snapped came a alive. six-game losing streak. And, and still being a 500 team, their games are fun. It's, it's Bro, fun. Bro, they're a 500 so, frankly, team with their 6-9 and nine on in the conference, and they're 2-7 and seven on the road. 
and and that's the thing. But they they've had so much Mark Light magic this year, walk offs and everything. Still a fun team to watch. Yes, but ultimately we're falling behind in the arms race. They're going to have to catch up on their nil side, even if it has to come from their own nil. They're going to have to get creative on what they're doing, and and it's an it's an arms race. You know, I ha- had the opportunity to talk to a recruit, and he was like, "Listen, when you're and the same thing with the SEC because we all we, we always knew this about football, right? But it, his kid was." Older brother, one of the ball players that I have the privilege to coach, and his his brother went to uh, Tennessee. He's like, dude, it's it's no comparison. It's it's no comparison. What's going on at these other schools in the SEC? He goes, you want to see a nice stadium? Go to the SEC. You want to see this? Go to the SEC. And we always hear it in football. You never really hear that angle in baseball, but when you're hearing that angle in baseball, you're starting to see that that gap. And uh, University of Miami. Now you get all the Geno, you know, naysayers because I posted that once. I was like, "Hey, the University of Miami now had they went up. Notre Dame had a pretty abysmal series, so they jumped back up ahead of Notre Dame to have the third worst record, but they were tied for the worst record in the ACC overall." And I posted that stat, and people are like, "Ah, oh, that's what happens when you have a lazy hire. That's what happens." And of course, people are going to come out of the woodwork. Is it fair? I don't necessarily think so. It's still too early to tell. But University of Miami is not where it should be and where it wants to be year one into the the Geno era. It's not a Geno era. It's a JD era. But the JD era, yeah. But here's here's the thing that tips it in a negative light for me: the Mark Light magic, the comebacks, the walk offs. Without that, this team's really bad. Right, you're five hundred with that stuff right mm-hmm. so it's like it's like it, during the football season right where you're uh you're seven and five but you lose three games by under three points uh could easily be a very or you're seven and five you won three of those seven games by a point and the other games you got beat by 20 it's an entirely different season and i think that that's kind of on the or side of that scale for me. Um I they just don't I mean look their bats are fun. I don't I don't disagree, but man, they just not very good. I think the overall ACC record of all the other teams being better than us bothers me more than the fact that University of Miami's a bottom dweller and they're batting and they're playing five hundred ball. Because baseball is just one of those sports. You get hot at the right moment, your pitchers kind of light up a little bit, dial in a little bit, bats get hot. You can make a run. You can make a run all the way to Omaha. So it's like it's one of those sports, you know. I mean, you see all the super teams in the MLB. It it doesn't matter. I mean, the Diamondbacks made the World Series last year. I mean, nobody saw the Diamondbacks making the World Series. So I I think you still can't count them out. I'm not I'm not ready to hit the nuclear reset button just yet. But it's it's just still concerning, you know. The midweek games where you lose them at a high clip. Florida plays some really really good baseball. So it's not like you know like the Florida schools around us. You know, FAU, FIU. You got to go play Florida Gulf Coast. They have some damn ass good teams. You know what I'm saying? Some of the other parts of the country, they don't have other Division One schools that are rivaling, you know, FAU, FIU. So that midweek schedule is, is tougher down here than I think in other parts of the country, if we're being honest. But still, I mean, for the University of Miami to get back to what it what, once was, it's got a long way to go. Bro, it's like, listen, like you, bro, um, I talked to one of the recruits often as well. And uh, <laughs> I can tell you that it is, uh, yeah, I'm not going to say too much here, but um, it is, first of all, I don't, I don't, I don't let the hire. I just never thought that Miami was a job that you learn how to be a manager at. That that, and so I just thought it, I understand that he's a Hall of Famer with the school. This and that. I get it. Great. What I get it. Never managed. Certainly not a major program. The recruiting, all the intricacies of that. And I just thought that was a mistake. And um, I will tell you that what you're saying, Rose, hundred percent correct. That it is a different ball game. What is going on there compared to other schools in the region, especially the SEC, not even close. If you think football wasn't close, bro, this is a chasm the size of the Grand Canyon going on yeah. in baseball. Mm-hmm. Like if you compare what's happening at Vanderbilt and LSU in Florida compared to my oh, bro, stop, yeah, you're, bro. You're, you're not, you're not going to want to go. Yeah, no, you know, you're not, you're not going to want to go. They get some special ball players. They got, they're going to continue to get theirs. University of Miami yeah. is going to continue to put people in the league. Uh, Daniel Cuvay is a very special ball player. You know, Listen, went to they're St. not going to have trouble with batters, years, bro. You're going to be able to find the batters. It's the pitchers. Went 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 to St. Thomas's. You know, first two years, freshman and sophomore year, before going to like one of those baseball factory, you know, home school satellite schools. But uh, you know, went went to St. Thomas, and you know, special kids going to make his money one day and. You know, and he's just a freshman, big Blake Sear fan. They got some bats. You know, they got mm-hmm. they got some bats. 
They're they're going to always get their players that they put in the league. But I'm just saying, we're, we're they they need to get creative. They really really do. And I don't know, and I don't know if it's going to happen with our current athletic director. I don't I don't think baseball is that high up on the priority for him. I if you asked him. Do you want to revamp the baseball program and get them to be a college national perennial power every year? Or do you want to start a softball team? He's going to say, I want to start a softball team. Period. End of story. Full stop. And listen, I, I think we all know what Rad's number one objective was when he was hired here, and that is to get those facilities upgraded in that gigantic $80 million funded and built. And then I think he'll be retiring because he's an older guy. And then they'll have to, yeah, I don't, I don't think he's here to worry about a hundred percent. And you're right, bro. Cause the way he talks about softball, he really wants a softball team at this school. <laughs> and I think you have the room so. there. You don't have a room to, to put a football stadium, but you definitely have a room. The, the softball mm-hmm. fields don't take up a lot of area. If you see, I, I, I just was recently at FAU softball field. It, it, it's the field and that's it. A couple state. You don't need something. Overly it's a couple exotic. half bleachers. Yeah. yeah. It, yeah. It's a couple it's half small. bleachers and it's that, but you know, I, Miami is nice. well, Miami in terms of the female sports, Miami's well, way overdue in terms of a softball. I mean, it's softball in Miami. You know how much softball is played in South in South Bro. Florida? Yeah. It's like Ridiculous. the softball capital of the world. And the University of Miami doesn't have a softball program and beach volleyball. It's the fastest growing collegiate sport yep. in in the country. And all you need is a couple sand sand courts. You don't I mean, have sand in Miami. No, no, no sand. None. none. They have more in Oklahoma. You can literally, you don't even need the sand courts there. You can literally go to South Beach and rent out mm-hmm. the courts and play your home games on South Beach. And you don't think you're going to get girls that want to play for the University of Miami oh, yeah. Beach Volleyball? Yeah, beach volleyball courts at plantation parks. I said, by the way, congratulations, Natalia. You beat Cardinal Gibbons again. Beat those, nice. Very beat nice. those rivals of mine. Very nice. Beat them again. Much closer this time. You know, you know what other sport Miami doesn't have? What? Men's golf. Yes, correct. It's all Pretty title wild. nine. Used to. Yep. Used to have men's golf. No more men's golf. Mm-hmm. Interesting. You know who has men's golf? Who? FSU? Every SEC school. Of course. Oh, sure, yeah. yeah. Yes. I'm just Of course they do. I got you. All right. Let's talk they about our women's golf, though. We do. <laughs> they do. Yes, Good they do. This year. Let's talk about our friends at uh, Bange. 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 Hey. 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 Give me a call. Oh, oh God. You're Paul. And I'm I know Paul. the number. 981 Roof. It's 981 roof, 561 305 954. Blue tarp season is upon us. The re roof. I don't think it's going well. And you know why it's not going well? Because I got there too late. I, I didn't narc them out when I was supposed to. They're going with a different and they're complaining about it. They're complaining about the experience. Since we've been doing this and partnered with Paul Bange, we haven't gotten those calls. We get great ones. They are who they say, they are who they thought they are. And we didn't let them off the hook because they're great at what they do. 981 Roof is the number you need to call. I promise you, if I would have narked out my neighbor sooner, his roof would be done. And he'd be loving it, and he'd be high-fiving me, inviting me over for a good whiskey drink. Because it's Whiskey Wednesday, and you it boys are whiskey lucky. Wednesday. It's Wednesday. You know what? And not only that, he would probably also uh, say, hey, you know what? Why don't why don't we trim our pubes together? Yes. And he'd pull yes. out his manscaped lawnmower, and, and, and you guys would just sit there and staring in the mirror next to each other with your... Trous drop, just trimming your pubes. Hey, hi, hi, you missed a spot over there, bro. Thanks, yeah, Bill. To- totally like, you know, you know, trading off secrets and said, no, I like to fold it from that way. It's just a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. Kind of get into that nick yep, and that yep. little cranny a little bit more. Mm-hmm. Showing hey, each other your, your your taint technique. Yeah, that one's yeah. difficult. It, I'm just saying, it's, it's it, there's no eyes Who down there, bro. are you guys there, friends you're, you're going blind. Yeah. You're going blind. Where the hell did you hang out You're with? going down there blind. That's why you need to have confidence in your utilities that they're not going to cut you because you're going in there blind. Yeah. Yeah, like, I don't a care if there's a flashlight. Board. My belly ain't let me bend all the way down like that. Yeah, but the flashlight at least gives you some bit of a clue. Some, some, yes. Yeah. But yeah. 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 So I'm saying OBB 20% off. Hey, Scoop, Protect you missed tank. the spot. <laughs> Speaking of packages. Get out of my bathroom. Master's week. It is. You Ooh. drop some bets. Yeah, so. Um, pissed off, bro. You can. You're pissed? He has a five, a uh, max play, yeah, a max play for the Masters. I know, and I can't do it on the Hard Rock. No, not on there. Oh, I think, <laughs> yeah, I think, uh, I think Bovada has it. 
Oh, okay. Uh, either right. that or bet online, but there okay. there are some there are a couple of Florida books I think they have or at least one that has it. Um, yeah, it's not on the Hard Rock uh, app, but if you get if you listen to this early enough, you can get into the Masters package. Remember, you can't buy into this Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. You have to He's buy into eight, the package right? for the weekend. Tomorrow, probably not. Um, weather tomorrow oh. is going to be pretty pretty nasty. Okay, well, Player um, and Nicholas are supposed to tee off at 740, so it's not going to start until they do the ceremonial thing, so keep an eye on that. Correct. Um, so, you know, if you get it by 8 o'clock, I'm sure you're fine, uh, but the weather tomorrow is supposed to be gross. The uh, rest of the weekend is supposed to be very nice. should be a little bit softer. Are we going to have 36 holes on fucking Friday? Uh, I think they'll get in some tomorrow. Uh, that'll kill Tiger. There's going to be there's going to be a lot on Friday. That'll kill Tiger. Yeah, ain't no way he's doing 36 holes in a Look, day. And I, I, he, it, it. This his one ability, made the cut, bro. It his ability to cut. win this tournament has nothing to do with his playing ability. That's no. the part that sucks because right. he's playing as well as he's played in many years. Um, but Augusta is a nightmare of a walk. And uh, with a with a frozen ankle, kind of yeah. tough to get around, right? So, I just don't know if he can truly pull off four days in that type of setting. Um, look, I'd, I I'd love to see him make the cut. He made the cut last year, and then he he was he was shit on Saturday and Sunday because he was just hurting. So, yeah, I'm excited. It's look, it's it's uh it's the best week of the year for golf, my opinion. Uh, it just doesn't get any better. Uh, so, beatingthebookie.com is where you get that package. You also get NHL. You get doing well there. He's doing well there. He's killing baseball. MLB uh, is cranked up and running. Um, Yeah, get in there. Beating the book in social media, Twitter, Mm -hmm. X, TikTok, Mm -hmm. Instagram, all that jazz. Go make some money, honey. There you go. There you go, baby. Honey, do. And he's got the headquarters coming out. If you guys follow him on there, he'll and get he updates on his tea already. Yeah, he did. I, I saw, saw golden tea in there. Yeah. It's in there. Mm-hmm. It's in there. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Very yeah. good. I have to go. To, uh, I have to go stop by. All right, we're so we're generous. Gonna, let's do some uh, some wheel of topics. Go on Friday. Well, where do you want to start? Wherever you the, the wheel lands, man. Oh, spin it. Say, all right, spin sports, non sports. I don't give a shit. Let's have some fun. Oh, okay. Um, we'll start with drunk Florida man found naked sitting in a garbage can. <laughs> Florida man. He's famous, okay. this Florida man. <laughs> he is. So, um, what? <laughs> I mean, drunk Florida man. What, but why, why is that abnormal? So here's my question. So this happened. Um, I don't even know exactly where it happened in Florida. doesn't really make a difference. could be anywhere. Ocala, Fort Lauderdale, whatever. My question is. This man is found by cops in the trash can on his sidewalk. So outside of the house, like on the sidewalk. Okay. Butt naked in there. Okay. And he's telling the cops he has every right to be there. And whatever. I don't give a shit about that. What I want to know is what happened 15 minutes prior that he thought, you know what? The only solution to this is to strip naked and go outside and get into the trash can. What was See, going on in his life? Maybe there was a plumbing issue in the house. And the only place he felt that he could relieve himself was in the trash can. Uh, I'll do you one better. Okay. This call kind of happened with me. We found the individual in a dumpster. And he had been back there. And he wasn't fully naked, so you'll get me there. But he had a backpack. And in that backpack was one sole item to which the police and us responded together. And he said, don't go in my backpack. And what do you think the cop did? He went in the backpack. Of course he did. And pulled out one huge schlong, no? And it was black. (laughs) So he was doing himself in the the dumpster. dumpster. I'm talking about huge so he was doing himself (laughs) in the dumpster in the dumpster he made a quote the producer might have to cancel this quote out oh hell no say it but he said i don't like it but when i do meth i like it in the ass okay showtime 
Show title. <laughs> <laughs> and it had a suction cup. Now, well, of course, he's yeah. in a dumpster. He's got to stick it right onto the side. Well, the nurses started to scream when we brought him in because he put it on the wall. Bro, the way the way <laughs> yeah, he answered this, hold on, the he way took I'm it out telling and put you it the on story. the wall in this in the he stuck it on the wall and the nurse came in and saw it on the wall and screamed and ran out of the and ran out of the room. Oh, and so ran, what, I mean, do you think that was it? You think that was a that was a fake scream and pretended no. to run out of the room? No. <laughs> Repeat the saying one more time, please. He said, I don't like it, but when I'm on meth, I like it in my ass. Do you realize what that is? How long ago did this happen? Uh, this was about, I, I want to say like 10 years ago. Oh, fucking, you know what? Did you realize what he just did there? You realize what that was? That was the Dos Equis commercial. Most amazing guy in the world. I don't often like it, but when I do, it's Dos Equis. <laughs> That's what he just, he just did that for, was, for, 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 for doing yourself in the was, ass with a giant schlong. It, it was Dos Equis. It wasn't even Dos. <laughs> <laughs> There's your show title. That's your show title. Dos right Equis. I Sekis. swear to you. Dos Equis. Like, it's <laughs> <laughs> and that, I will never forget that my whole entire oh my life. God. So, and guess what? Guess what he was? <laughs> a Florida man. Of course he was. But Jesus <laughs> Christ. I got to be honest with you. It's better than finding it stuck to the side of the dumpster. <laughs> One so while in the act. Time. Right, right, right. That right. would have been so, the worst way to find it. And right. the funniest thing was is when the cop took it out. Oh. <laughs> He's like, hey, this? This? What, you don't hey. even find this? <laughs> hey, right? Was he wearing gloves? <laughs> of course he was. Oh, he was he was wearing gloves. I still I still know the police officer who oh, did Jesus. it. And he started flipping out. <laughs> Why would you do that? I told you not to look I into my back. Oh, my God. My God. Oh my goodness. That is fantastic. That is great. And that you wonder why we do these stupid questions. Yeah. This isn't even five We're not questions. even in five No, questions. not even in five this questions. Is, this, this is just is wheel of topics. To Florida, yeah. Holy fuck. Oh. Oh, okay. The women's uh, national championship game beat the men's by about 4 million viewers. <laughs> As well it should have. <laughs> yeah. yeah. She was a generational player. We didn't have that generational player in the men's side. If we did, I think... The men's side would eclipse it. it. It takes a generational player for the woman's side to eclipse the men's side. There's been way more genuine her? interest. No. Or do you think it was South Carolina to go undefeated to try and beat her? I think it was her. I think it was both. Yeah, I think both. Yeah, I think it was a combination of both. And I think also because um, this year and last year were two of the lowest rated NCAA tournament championship games of all time. I think part of it also that you've had a team that hasn't had a double that's won by double digits for the last two years in a row. They haven't been, haven't had a competitive game. Right. I mean, as much as I'd love that, it hasn't been great for the sport overall in terms of, uh, you know, thrilling endings. Games are over at halftime for the most part, or at least with 10 minutes to go. So yeah, I think it is a combination, but listen, I'll also tell you this, though, Scoop, the ratings for all those games, uh, we said last week, we thought that the uh, Angel Reese, Caitlin, that would be the top game. The next game beat that, the Paige Becker's yeah. game beat it, and then the finals beat that as well. Yeah, and to, to my defense on saying no, but Roe also said no. I think he said no before I said no, but I did back him up. Uh, I was unaware they were playing UConn in the final four. Okay. So that's a good matchup. Oh, absolutely. Her yeah. and Paige, great matchup. Yeah, and it went down to the last second. It did. It did. Definitely a moving screen. Uh, mm -hmm. Anyone who thinks it wasn't a moving screen, you don't... You, 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 yeah, it was a moving line. screen. Right. If that's a moving <laughs> screen, you can call it on every screen that they have in basketball. Are you saying that's, that wasn't a moving screen? I'm saying if Are that we, is a moving screen, then you could call it on every single play down the court. That was egregious. No? Oh, I'm my not, God. No. no. Agree, egregious. Egregious. He, egregious. He, he moved four feet. A, 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 what? Egregious. During the screen, are you thinking of this of the same? Were you watching it? Four. I watched feet? it. What? I watched it. Stop. Look, look. If that if if that was anyone other than the women's UConn team, mm -hmm. which by the way is Toast's favorite team ever, I'm talking. <laughs> he likes. I don't know if you guys know this. Who doesn't know this? I'm gonna. I'm gonna. We're pulling back the curtain a little Pull bit. Pull it back. Toast's favorite team ever that means that he is more of a yukon women's huskies basketball fan 
than a Miami Hurricanes football fan. Oh, stop. I love all my teams any the same. day of the week. I love all my any teams de- the bullshit. same. Bullshit. Totally. That's what all you say about any day of the week. Yeah, you say Just because my team. family had season tickets to that particular team for the better part of 30 years. But yeah, I'm so saying all. if you have 10 kids, that's bullshit. There's no way you love all your kids the no, same. No, fuck no. Well, I don't have 10 kids. I don't have one kid. So. I don't even have 10 kids either. So. You guys love your kids the same, right? Equally? Yeah. Yeah, you okay. do love them equally, but they're very different people. Well, sure, they're very different, different, but you still have the same amount of love for them. If I right? had 10, depends I on the would. day. Yeah. <laughs> if I had 10, there's <laughs> if I'm being honest, I have two daughters. It depends on the day. That love one them I'm more writing than anything off. in this earth. <laughs> I have 10 of them. I, I'm, I'm writing off that one. <laughs> right? That one's not right. <laughs> like, I, you got 10, you can choose. Like, you can be picky. Uh, well, other other than my kids' freckles, I have no idea how they're like. Someone sister. someone needs to come pick this son up. Yeah, Mario said that. That's right. Come pick your kids up. <laughs> While we're on the uh, women's game, did you want to play the Dawn <laughs> Staley audio? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So did you do this? No, this was the internet. I can't take credit <sighs> for this one, but uh, Dawn Staley, the the head coach of South Carolina, a uh, very spiritual woman, mm-hmm. uh, oh, very well spoken, but mm-hmm. got up and used her her platform in the post game to kind of thank God and. The oh. internet took it and did exactly what the internet does. And <laughs> put, a go- put a gospel band behind it. Oh, I gotta go. give honor to the Most High God for allowing us to be back at the same place in which we had sad tears. And I just want you to know that the God I serve, the God I serve, when He closes a door, He opens up a door. That is, that's giving you unimaginable success. This is uncommon favor. (laughs) Love that. Just love Uh, it. I love it. Good job, Internet. (laughs) Now we also have this to... Anytime someone gets on a little, a little rant. A little preachy. A little preachy. Yeah. A little preachy. Hey, good for nice. her. Hit it with the she loves her Jesus. Nice. Can we put that with the uh, LSU coach? When's that When's that uh, piece come out? What? What's that? When are they dropping the piece on the LSU coach? From the Washington Post? Yeah. Like last week? It already came out? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> We landed on the moon. Is it any good? So there was well, so there was that piece. There was also so the piece that got more n- news was the one from the L.A. Times, I believe, that uh, used denigrating language to talk about uh, U- uh, LSU when they were going to be playing uh, UCLA or whatever. And um, yeah, so that's what got in more trouble. But yeah, whatever. She seems like she'd be tough to live with. Mulkey, dude, just the outfit she wears. It's like dating Big Bird. I Big mean, had the same outfit. <laughs> Seriously, I, I have a hard time. I have a hard time <laughs> believing that anyone can be around here for more than a few minutes at a time. <laughs> Tell you the feather boa sometimes is like a snuffle. You imagine, you imagine waking yeah, up next I, to that. I don't. I don't want to miss this opportunity. Uh, I don't want to write it down. Shit. Can we? Can we put Big Bird had the same outfit as a as a as a choice? Doesn't mean we're gonna pick it. <laughs> uh, uh, early nomination. Outfit. Big Bird had the same outfit. She's I'm up to, I'm up that's to like a eight scary or, woman. Man. Good, good, good. That's a scary woman. Oh man, she's something. Uh, all right. Oof. Well, she, all right. we spun the wheel. Where did we land on? Where we land? Uh, well, we're on we're on the Weather Channel. Okay. Uh, the other oh piece my of god. Audio of the week. So this this kind of relates to Toast doing the trip to do the eclipse. Yeah, yeah I listened to this, actually. This I did wild. 47 seconds of show prep, and it was and listening this was it? to this, and it made me <laughs> curious about this woman, too. Yeah, no Go kidding. ahead. So this is the Weather Channel's <laughs> Stephanie Abrams, uh, and she had traveled to Fredericksburg, Texas, and it was the uh, the eclipse, and it just happened to be cloudy. So after the eclipse they happens to tell they can't see it. So all these people like start cheering and then it breaks out from behind the clouds for like two seconds. The crowd is willing it! Hold on. I've got one single question. Go ahead. 
You think that she owns a trace Eke's apparatus? <laughs> no, of course she does. <laughs> and, but that was using... where my mind was going. I don't think she's as bad as you think, Scoop, because she's got one really good redeeming quality. She's easily satisfied. I was going to say, not it's bad. One second. Yeah. I'm not, I don't it. think that she was bad. One second, one minute, I'll take it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> one second, I'll so, take so it. I'll take All it. right. See, so, we were the performance the weather. She's like a cheap now. date. <laughs> dude, we were watching the Weather Channel before we went out for this thing, and dude, they were literally this was their Super Bowl. At one point after time, so, so Jim Cantori was set up at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway where they had like twenty five thousand people in the stands. Stop it! No, and when it happened, we 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 get back to the room, or whatever, and at the very end, they're about ready to wrap up the broadcast, and there he gets a thing of milk and pours it over himself. Like they do when you like win the Indy 5 yeah, because, yeah, uh -huh. because and he, he was like, bricks. and they did two high fives. He was talking to the astrophysicist like, dude, it was just a nerd celebration. It was, they went over the top on the weather channel. And nerd then there was like a storm broke out somewhere and they actually had to talk about tornadoes, real shit. It was like, you could tell they were pissed. <laughs> oh no. Oh, we got to talk about real stuff. There's bad storms in the panhandle. Oh my God. There's always bad storms in the panhandle. Why? We don't live in the panhandle. Oh, John Calipari. Oh, just ridiculous. Why? What? So SMU <laughs> fires their head coach after only two seasons, takes them from 11 and 20 to 29, right? They probably didn't deserve to get fired, but whatever. And the result of that move is John Calipari leaving Kentucky to go to Arkansas. The domino effect. No, no one saw that come when SMU fired their head coach. And then a week later, insane. Yeah. I mean, what the guy's old and washed. 15 years there. Hasn't done anything in the last years. like five or six, 15 basically. 15 years at Kentucky. Yeah. Think about that. And he would start off strong. It's sure. been. It's hard. Look, it's hard to fuck up Kentucky basketball. I mean, it, it, it's really tough to do. So the fact that he's done such a good job at it. It's pretty impressive, but I mean, he was was again fired anyway. Like he knew his 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 leash was really really short in Lexington. He ha he had to have known it. He's he's been a dumpster fire for a little while. Well, he saved them he a, a thirty three. Yeah, they they saved him a he saved them a thirty three million dollar buyout by quitting and taking That's the Arkansas nice gig. Fifteen so, yeah. years he's been there. Yeah, that's crazy. He's been around, dude. He had a ten, you know, he was at UMass with Marcus Camby back in the day, going to a I Final know. Four. Then Memphis, Memphis, and then Kentucky. Yeah, you know, yeah, he'll do fine at Arkansas. Like Arkansas will have a good few uh, sure. years here, sure. absolutely. And I don't sure. know. We'll see who they get. They're gonna if they go after my boy Hurley, or if they go after uh, Drew from Baylor, It'll probably be Drew from Baylor. I'm thinking. Oh, it's Masters Week. We, I think we feel like we talked about it during yeah you know, during the betting days. segment. We can talk about it again if you'd like. Of course, Scoop will. <laughs> Go right ahead. What it's do we want to talk about? Week of the year. It yeah, is. He's, he's got the ringtone on his phone. All right, so let me. All right, so let's talk about this. Let me ask you this. So obviously, okay. you got a like you got a green jacket you walk around with or something like I that. I do all weekend. Yeah, yeah, all weekend. Uh, um, it is the uh, one of the only four times a year that we're going to see the 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 full slate of the PGA guys and, and the top guys from Live playing in the same tournament. I think Live's got like what seven or eight guys, I believe, in the Masters field this year. Um, so who, if if there was a bet, if you could bet who has more members in the top five, which I believe Liv did last year, correct? Who would you bet that on this year? Can they repeat it? I'm at least golf savvy, but I'm gonna just pick Liv because Liv Tyler, she 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 was cool in Armageddon, and uh, she was cool. Yeah, and that's <laughs> Steven cool. Tyler's daughter, and uh, and that mo that movie. That that movie made me tear up, and I still remember the date I was on. And she looked at me and goes, "Are you crying?" And I'm like, "Shut up!" And she called me a pussy. Yeah, <laughs> I'd like to I'd like to shake the hand of the the daughter of the bravest man I know. Yeah, Colonel Stamper, <laughs> Harry, Harry Harry Stamper. All right, Ben Affleck. Uh, such, he's wanting to punch him in that movie. Yeah, he I'm gonna good. go. I think I'm gonna go live again. Um, yeah, live and. Man, well, that's tough. I don't know. They have such, 
I mean, that'd be three out of seven guys are making mm -hmm. the top five. Man, it's tough. I, I got to think that Rom's in the top five, and I got to think that Brooks is making it as well. Um, the third guy, I'm not so sure, to be honest with you. You know, DJ has got a couple, plays very well there, but has not played well lately. Um, Last year was Phil, wasn't he? Wasn't Phil in the top five? Phil finished second. Yeah, I mean, so yeah, like, can Phil be a, can have Phil, a miracle again? Look, there is no place that he loves more than Augusta. So could he be that guy? But he's, I mean, Phil's 50. Three, two, three, three. Um, and he's not playing very well either. Can DeShambo get in the top five? Uh, Joaquin, uh, Neiman is playing incredible, but you know, I look, I think, I think Scheffler is certainly the odds on favorite. Um, uh, he's the best ball striker in the world if he can get his putting to continue. I mean, he's won th three out of his last four events and had a put a six footer to tie to, to, to put into a playoff last week. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go I'm gonna go back on the other side. I don't think that three of of the seven can get in the top five. So I'm gonna go back right. to the PGA. Okay. DeShambo had a hole in one today, or well, no, well, he shot the first ball in the water, and his follow up shot on the in the par three was a hole in one. Oh, stop! Really? Yeah. So he got a three. So he had a par. Yes, he had a par, but it was a pretty Love spectacular it. one. Yeah. Love it. <laughs> well, it's you know they had the, the the par three today is the best event I think in golf, uh, where they have. Uh, the par three tournament on Wednesday. Uh, and, it, you know, they have their caddies family and the kids come out and their kids putt for them. And they like, it's just one of the greatest things you'll see in any, it, just go Google it, go on YouTube and watch the Ricky and JT uh, holes in one back to back on the par three event. This is from like three or four years ago. I think, I don't remember which one had it first. One of them, hole in one, literally the next one steps up, aces it. Like, it's just one of the coolest things you'll, you'll see. So all the kids are out running around, jumping in the bunkers, picking up the balls. Like, it's just, it's it's pretty fucking cool. Pretty cool. So, yeah, Masters Week, boys and girls. All right, well, the last thing on the wheel, we don't have to spin it, is uh, Shohei Otani and the home run ball. And so what happened with this? Did you what not hear this story? I, I, I part of it was it is it all I thought that I read that they were all good with it, but it was really like they were pressuring her and they broke so, her up with her husband or something. <laughs> yes. So uh Shohei Otani hit his first home run as a Dodger last week. The woman that caught the ball is celebrating on TV. Security comes to get her and her husband, as you figure they're gonna take them back and award them whatever they're gonna award them in exchange for the ball, that kind of thing. And she said what they did instead was separated her from her husband took them different places and then pressured her into giving up the ball for like one autographed baseball and a hat yes yeah, and they would they told wouldn't. them and told her she said according to her they would not authenticate the ball if she didn't give it up which means she couldn't sell it and it would be worth nothing so That's basically just up. bullied the hell out of this woman and Stop did it, it did it in a way where her husband wasn't even with her so she didn't even know like what to do or who to so, so they they threw in a shohei autograph bat and at that point, she was like, I mean, I guess. And then when they got out of there, they found out that there's auction houses that said that ball could have gone for about 100 grand. So now that this, I heard the bad press, have the Dodgers stepped up? Uh, they're open. From last I heard, the Dodgers are open in, to helping make it right. But I don't even know what that means at this point. So so let me ask you a question. A four-pack to the next game with some... Uh with a Shohei bobblehead, yeah. right, and a, and yeah. a freak at well, I guess and, Shohei's, and, Shohei's and slightly to Asian the, to Dave Matthews said they took a picture together, and they didn't. <laughs> right, so, I love that slightly Asian so, Dave. Matthews. Yeah, he looks yeah, like a, a slightly Asian guy. Dave. Yeah. So let me ask you a question. We're all married. Mm -hmm. One of our wives catches that ball. No chance mm -hmm. in hell. Not a goddamn chance in they hell. They come down and they separate us and take us in no two way. different directions. No, not no happening. Mm -mm, never. I'm what going to jail. the fuck kind of yes. pussy ass husband? Because I'm that punching guy? somebody. You can yeah. throw me out of the stadium. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to jail because I just assaulted one of the security. I, I, exactly. I mean, what, what, what kind of story I, I, I is this for real? Feeling. This is Los Angeles. He was probably one of those guys. You know, <laughs> you know, he's in touch with his feelings. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Sits with his legs crossed a lot. She probably you're saying, tells him you're what saying to he do. has a three foot uh, Trace Eckes yeah. uh, 
Yeah, because he obviously, I mean, she's a lot harder to pl- please than the other woman who just took it one second from the, you know, from the news organization. I just from don't, the weather I don't, I, I, I can't really understand the story. Because yeah, it there's just, no it chance just, they probably it doesn't, said to that her, doesn't happen. You know what I mean? I'm you to you, come back here for official reasons because you're the one with the ball. I right. think probably gave her some sort of a runaround to get them apart. Yeah, it's like no chance. No yeah, chance. No, not happening. I, I like, how does he not know what that ball's going to be worth at that point? Right. You know, like that's that's hold on to the ball. Like as soon as this happens, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now listen to me. You're holding on to that ball because you're holding listen on to, to about a hundred grand. Now. Right. Yeah. You're holding on to a lot of money. <laughs> they can't. Nope. We, we want you to come back here. Nope. We're gone. See ya. Bye. Yeah, I don't need you to authenticate it. The TV camera is going to authenticate it for me. That's yeah. right. This is this is the authenticated ball. I yeah. promise you, no other ball is going to show up that says this that this was the ball. Right? That's but, crazy, right. dude. It's a crazy. So you know what? That Especially for a team that built a billion dollars in the offseason on players, like you're going to well, they got to save money lady. somehow. They're right. paying Shohei all that money. <laughs> well, he's gambling all of it. I gotta be honest <laughs> yeah. with you. Hearing the story again and get reading about, it, they deserve it. They deserve a, a a card and a signed bat because they're stupid enough to be separated and go in different directions, <laughs> and the husband. She bailed. Lose his job. Bailed. Mm. Bailed on her. They, you know what? Their she daughter divorce him for sure. Their daughter's probably walk, work, working the pole right now. Yeah. That's for destiny. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Mercedes. Mercedes on the, in the Where, champagne where's room. He been? Where's, uh, where's IP been? <laughs> Too much Mercedes? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think he might He's have been in Dayton, Ohio. I heard he had a triple bypass. Mm. <laughs> oh. It's ticker. Right. Mercedes right. is five working questions? with the bone. Yeah, I guess we can go on to uh, yeah. five questions. Yeah. Questions. Question number one. Let's just get right to it, boys. What's weird about your body? I'll go first. <laughs> I got, you know, my toes. Mm-hmm. I'm one of those guys that actually like my, not my big toe, the toe next to it is longer than that toe. Mine's the same uh, way. Okay. Yeah. 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 Definitely the same have way. I, didn't, I hadn't digit. thought about that, but that's definitely, yeah. Yeah. It's a that's good word about my body. How about you, Scoop? No, I have that. Uh, I'll say, I'm not sure which ear it is. I think it's, I think it's this one. This one sticks out more than the other one. Mm. Same. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. That one. Stephen Colbert's got one of those. Oh, sticks it, out a little bit more. Big time, Stephen mm-hmm. Colbert. Is, I think he's missing an ear, to be honest. <laughs> right, it almost looks like it. Times, yes. uh, mine is simple. Um, I I have a 17 inch long penis. <laughs> and it is, uh, and that's that's flaccid. That's not Just, even erect. And we call and so it. it it's, it's today's caused problems. Case. It has caused problems. It's not an easy. Uh, it's an affliction. Well, it tells yeah. us a little bit about Jen. Mm-hmm. God bless that woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> Just the the comments that I kept to myself. I've already gotten bleeped out once today. I've already had so many times. Producer work once today. You're not even going to be in the show this week at this pace. <laughs> oh no, J- Jenner's. Oh, mine's mine's easy because Toast knows this. But Paul used to call me the mandible. I have a really <laughs> long jaw. Mm-hmm. To the point where this might freak you out a little bit. This is my actual bite. Look at that! <laughs> yeah, I have yeah. an underbite, a wicked, horrible underbite because my so, jaw is so long. So never bite somebody and try to get away with that crime. Oh hell they'll no! They'll find you immediately. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. yeah, yeah. There's yeah. only three humans on the planet. <laughs> right. This description, <laughs> and uh, we pretty do much know where te- two of them are like rabbits. <laughs> yeah. So you ha- you have to chew like with your back teeth only. Yeah, pretty much. All right. Like if I take a bite of pizza, I got to kind of pull it from the side because I can't. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. It sucks. I got, I got screwdrivers and hammers and shit. We can fix that right up. Yeah, Invisalign. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Uh, sorry, sir. We don't have your size. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Number two. I just finished my Invisalign. Ah, nice. They are, I mean, crazy how this shit works. What's the best hotel you've been to? Mm. This is this is finally oh. a Scoopy question. This is like right up Scoop's alley right here. Yeah. So uh, for us, yeah, for me, it's going to be uh, uh, a Rich Carlton. Uh, we've been to a few different ones. Where? One of Naples is friggin' awesome. I, I'm gonna okay, say the one in Naples. The, uh, just redid the golf one over there. Yeah, one in Naples. Which one on the water or the golf? Uh, the water. Okay, I redid that one too. Scoopy. Ooh, uh, I know yours, so I'm not gonna go there. 
Um, I would, uh, I'll go Four Seasons Maui. I'll go Four Seasons Maui. That was, I mean, it's really, the hotel's nice. It's really, it's really the location. The fact that they have, that the, the, the lobby's open. Right, oh, so you walk air. in, it's open air. The whole thing's open air, right? So it's like immaculate all the time, the weather. Um, man, I've stayed at a lot of really nice places. I, I think that one overall with okay. the ambiance. I will tell you this. We, we just went down to the one in Miami on Brickle. And I may have had a couple cocktails. And I may have left a review. Oh, boy. I don't leave reviews ever. Was a good review. This place is a glorified Holiday Inn. Oh boy, I want to read that review. I so want to read that review. I put glorified, glorified oh, Holiday Inn. <laughs> when were you the there? <laughs> I mean, I just oh, stopped my Lord. It was so, bro. I was. I'm telling you, I was like, I cannot believe the Four Seasons even has their name on this building. Like, shame on you guys. Yeah, no, well, I got. Been, uh, I did get uh, emailed uh, from the uh, the manager. Oh, to which, uh, oh, oh, I'll put this out there. I did get a response from the manager after we got upgraded and and the whole thing. I got a response from the manager via email or via the Google thing. Please email me. We'd like to make it right. Blah 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 blah. Right. So, what do you think I did? You emailed him. I emailed him. What do you think he did? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Found it. Maybe he got All right. fired. Total dog shit, bro. He got fired. You know, I, I he probably got fired because it's a glorified holiday. And it's I'm going to read you the review right now. I found it. We were both looking for it. Yeah. You found it. So here we go. <laughs> Have spent a lot of nights at a Four Seasons across the country. We were married at the Four Seasons in Maui. So this place has a special place in our hearts. Oh, look at him. Just he's getting ready. Just get on the heart Oh, my goodness. What do you, what do you he think wants of? a free <laughs> room like crazy right now, you, people. You think I'm an idiot? Then in bold, he changed the font. If I'm being honest, this is a glorified holiday. Inn. You can hear you can hear the disappointment in the typing. Yeah, absolutely. Nothing special about this hotel. Less than overwhelming is an understatement. My Goodness. And the rooms 2.0 service 1.0 location 2.0. Yeah. The response from the owner. Oh, 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 we get the response. This is Chad who was fired. No, I yes. don't know. Chad, Chad. Right. Hey, Chad, buddy. I emailed you like you requested for me to email you. So this is a response to the comment a week after you posted it. Dear get the scoop. fuck out of here. <laughs> Dear scoop. <laughs> Thank you for taking the time to write about your experience. We are very sorry that the state did not meet your expectations and would love the well to and welcome the opportunity just to discuss further with you. I invite you to contact me personally at uh, his e his email. He posted, and I truly hope to have a chance to welcome you back to the four seasons in Miami. Sincerely, Chad, the manager. Mm -hmm. well, I will Chad, send you his email. I got to say, Chad, you suck at your job. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's he's gonna give you. Review. He's gonna give you a, a freebie. So at least just email him. I'm gonna send you the email. I emailed the guy. This is the guy you emailed. Yes, oh, that's, that's what oh, I you, just said. Oh, what do you think oh, I did? But I, I said Chad, Chad, and you said I don't know his name. Oh, okay. How, how long ago I emailed was this? Chad? Uh, about a week ago. Oh, he got fired. I, I so emailed him a week ago. Yeah, I'm just guessing he got fired. No response because his hotel is a glorified Holiday Inn. It is. Yeah, total dog shit. Wow. And look. I don't write reviews. I, even if even if they're bad, I don't I don't go on Google. <laughs> I'm totally into reviews. this guy. No, on the show. No, right, Scoop, yeah. <laughs> Scoop says he knows where I was going to say because yes, I'm a big fan of the one hotel in South Beach. I just think it's a cool vibe. I love the the smell of the place, the earthy tones. It's a phenomenal hotel, but it's not. It's not actually. When I played pro ball and I was in Savannah, since it was off season, we got to stay at this old Augusta National Hotel. That had like that motif it was the coolest fucking hotel I've ever yeah. been with. They give you like little keys, like back like you were in the like 1800s. That's it was cool amazing. Stuff. I loved it. It was a really cool, authentic. Now, Scoop, Scoop, it is worth noting that out of 2,600 reviews, their, their star rating is a 4.7 at that location. So not many one and two stars. Yeah. And I promise you, you none of them stars. have stayed at any other four seasons. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. Because we're talking four seasons, mm -hmm. holiday in.
Okay. Not even close. Very good. Well, I sent you the email there, uh, um, Jenners. Jenners. I'll, follow, I'll follow up. Best so we'll see if Chad answer. wants to come. This is on. Rob Jenner from Scoop's office. Yeah. Uh, see if we can do a. Uh, yeah. See if we can do if they're offer doing a, a podcast uh, hey, live on location. And listen, why we have you on the line, and since you now know that you've been blasted to a podcast that has well over a million <laughs> downloads, <laughs> we'd like to see four comp rooms, please. Yes. Actually, three in the Miami area feeling, and one Chad? in the Atlanta area. Chad. I'm in a, a, a feel, Chad? This, According to this, it's basically fun. It's almost 500 bucks a night. Yeah. Yeah. Of course it is. All right. Where? <laughs> At this one. At this one. Brickle. No, it's not. No. Well, I'm seeing a price of, uh, of uh, 4 50 if I go there in July. Yeah. Scoopy's got the connects. Yeah, he's got it. He What's the best hotel show. you've been to, Jenners? Because it's about to be a Four Seasons in Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's it's, well, it's Holiday Inn. Never really, no, I'm kidding. Uh, the the easy for me it was easy because it was ridiculous. Was the uh, uh, Atlantis in the Bahamas? Oh, that, that place is a great is place. Unreal. We got to go for a, a company trip uh, last February. Holy cow! Most expensive place I've ever been. It is wildly <laughs> expensive, out of control. Expensive. But you have to experience it at least. But once. it's incredible. Yeah, yeah. It is. It is very, very incredible. An honorable mention. I'll give it to the uh, the Grand Old Opry Hotel in Nashville, which is like fucking enormous and has like a trees growing in it and shit. That's cool. Yeah, pretty nuts. I think some really other. Yeah, I like I, Ro. I like yours because I like the. Uh, you know that motif and the kind of old school vibe, and you know yeah. that's that's pretty cool when yeah. they kind of go that route. Into a couple fancy, not stayed as stayed many a really issue. cool place in in Venice, but uh, really small, like boutique, yeah. mm -hmm. you know that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. That was really neat too. Yeah, it was the old Augusta like National Hotel, and that's what it was. And they posted us up one time that we went to go play the Augusta team, the Green Jackets. So it was, uh, it was they definitely nailed their minor league organizational team. So that's there. All right. What's one thing you hope your parents never find out about you? Ooh. I got a lot of those. Wow. <laughs> I, I, Jenner's has been picked last twice in a row now. Jenner's, lead us off, buddy. You're in the leadoff hall on this one. That when I was a senior in high school, they went out of town for an extended vacation, mm -hmm. and I was by myself, and I, I threw myself. a blowout. Like, they didn't want anybody at the house. Nobody comes to the house. Mm -hmm. There must have been 200 people at the house. <laughs> oh, man. I was scrubbing puke out of carpets. I, I was, you got away oh, with it. Oh, 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 I mean, barely. Yes, but got away with wow. it. Wow. And to Dude. this day, I'm, I don't think they know. Our producers are real-life McLovin. If they ever found out, they would have murdered <laughs> like, me. Ooh. They Go. loved their house. I had people puking on my stairs. Oh, it was horrible. Oh, my God. Terrible. Hmm. I had one similar to that. But I got busted because totally cleaned the whole house. But in one of the in the living room on a shelf, there was these four little metal like pewter fucking decorative little like shot glassy sort of a thing, right? Like they look little miniature champagne flutes, but you couldn't see into them or they were just solid like pewter or whatever. Fucking somebody put an ash uh, a cigarette out in one of them, and my mom found it like three weeks later. Oh no. And I was like, why is there a freaking smoked cigarette in my... It's like, oh. oh, 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 oh. Well, yeah. hold on a second. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Did, your, did your, parent, your parents didn't smoke? No, 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 no. So you're telling me that you had smoking in the house? Bro, it was a party like Janice that got out of control. There was uh, only one keg, like 200 people showed up. An entire high school ended up from the other town showed up because they got where the keg was kicked in like 45 minutes. It, like it was, it went south fast. I get it, but what I'm saying is, yeah. if people were smoking in the house, your mm -hmm. parents came home and didn't notice the. Smell they were still going to be. They were the still house. gone for like a week, dude. Like you can get that. You can get what? Cigarette it wasn't smoke like, out? dude. It wasn't the whole. The whole party wasn't smoking in the house. I didn't know anyone was smoking in the house. Oh, one somebody snuck a cigarette during the chaos, and she said, "Put it out, toasty." I wasn't back to the that. basement. Gregory John. Oh yeah. Yeah, I, I, I was going to say Gregory, but you know, yeah. you 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 saved my name in the email, so I was going to save yours. All, right, we're all good. I mean, for me and my band uh, days, there's a lot of things I probably don't want them to know about. <laughs> but uh, I'll I'll just say this uh, for one of them, I, I won't say mom or dad. They had a 60th birthday party, and I didn't go. And I said oh. it's because I got ordered in. 
and I didn't. I just didn't want to go. All right. <laughs> wow. I know. I'm that's like move. that's like me. That's like me telling the wedding story. You know that you're going to ask me after the show why. No, I know very well why. But I also knew uh, telling the wedding <laughs> so story. That's that's why you know because if you know, you I know also, exactly. But what I also it is. know the wedding story that I told that I knew that that person would eventually hear it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't, and I don't care. Okay. I don't care. All right. All right. Fuck my life. Okay. Yeah. Did everybody answer that question? No, Scoopy didn't. Oh, I don't. I don't. I don't. <laughs> my mom 100% listens to this show. <laughs> She's not, she's not doing anything else. I don't know. I mean, uh, um, I don't, I don't know. I don't have a really good one. Probably something I did in college. All right. That, you know, that my mom would be disappointed. My dad probably be happy. You know, something like that. <laughs> what a <laughs> parody. <laughs> Question number four. Hey. When do you think your childhood ended? Oh, this is funny because Jen made a reference to this on our trip. Um, she she said it best. We are 50-year-old teenagers because we never had kids. So there's a level of, listen, you have kids, the whole world changes. Responsibility. I mean, it's everything. You got now something you got to support. Like the whole, we never had to worry about stopping to have, because we stopping doing things that we need to get a babysitter now. But there's a level of, like, we're still in our 20s acting like it, basically. Mm -hmm. There's my Good answer. Feeling a half. So yours is when you had kids? When I had kids. Yeah, first that's time I had to go to a parent-teacher conference. I was oh, like, well, that's pretty much it. <laughs> we're done. You're right. I'm like, I don't think these people think I should be here. <laughs> I, I think <laughs> judgment, just judgment everywhere. Oh, it's just ju judgment. You're in charge of another human being. Yeah, I 100 yeah. percent wear. Yeah. I wear. I wear sleeveless shirts or or not sleeveless shirts. Shorts, short sleeves shirts to every meeting, just because I want to. I want them to you know question the, their life. I want to question the their livelihood. Yeah, see the sleeve. It's funny, Jenners. Yeah, first time I was at a parent teacher conference. That was it. That's a good one. So, Bro. so, so for me, I think, you know, cause from a young age, even when I was like flunking out of my freshman year of college, I was like, why do I got to go to school? I'm going to be a pro ball player, you know? So I think when I made the decision to walk away is when it kind of like hit me, I'm like, oh yeah, my childhood dream and what I wanted to do, I didn't want to share it anymore. So it's kind of like, yeah, it kind of ended. That's when I realized real quick, my conversations went with my dad went away from like, you know, talking about baseball to like, Hey, what are you going to do? <laughs> what are you gonna do for money? What are you talking you know what about? I, mean? I, I took you, I scooped you right yeah. up, and we and we went <laughs> yeah. off in a new adventure. Exactly. Hey, by the way, Dad, I don't want to play pro baseball. I want to be in a rock band. And, yeah, and, let's and go. We, <laughs> and we did good in a rock band. And then I was sleeping in a warehouse. Hey, man. <laughs> yeah, you try to do what you got to do, but yeah, I think that's that. I think that's what it is for me. All right, <clears throat> question number five. All right. What sci-fi movie gadget do you wish ex existed right now? And how would it done this before? Oh, okay, that's that's why I was like because I've said transporter. Yeah, and I was thinking the Star Wars, like you know, no Star Trek, so you can kind of mm -hmm. like scan your yeah. body and know what the hell's going on, and you just press a button and fix it. Because I really need my lower back to 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 you know to. I a hundred percent didn't answer that question the first time. All right, well you can you can answer it now. While I'm looking for another question, and I'm answering for it. What, how, how do you know how to answer right. that? Oh, actually, I had this one highlighted right. instead of that one. I, I watched sci-fi. Ready? Here's a question for you. How are you today? Fine. That's the, that's the question. No, how are you today? Doing good. You? Ah, I'm sore. Okay. <laughs> I'm sore. Yeah. So, so like yesterday, I had the young recruits, and uh, they keep getting younger, and I keep getting older. <laughs> but, uh, you would have been so proud of me as like an OBB because at one point, like we're about to get like really after it, like in gear, we're doing it. And I look at him, I go, you need to look at the person next to you and you need to say, you're the baddest motherfucker I know. <laughs> so, so totally went blades on their ass. That did well, but, 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 but I slept and then, and then this was my thing too. I got my taxes done yesterday, getting a little bit of a return. That's not bad. But at one point, I have the most awkward conversation I think I ever have with a human being in my life. 
True story. At one point, he goes, you know what a prepper is, right? I go, like, what? Like you prepping my taxes? Or like a doomsday prepper? He goes, no, like a doomsday prepper. He goes, so I bought this property up, you know, in the middle of the state. And it's got enough for five, like, RVs. I have an electric pump, but I got a mechanical pump. It's got safe rooms, storage rooms. And for a small fee, I'm like, holy shit, I'm getting solicited for (laughs) doomsday properties. Right? So that kind of made me laugh. So I'm happy. I had the weirdest conversation of my life, and I'm sore, boys. So when you ask me, how am I doing? How are you today? That's how I'm doing. How are you doing? How you doing, Scoop? I'm pretty good. Pretty good. I've had a yeah, a good week. What day is today? Wednesday. Mm-hmm. I had some dry needling done today uh, for my elbow that's bothering me, tennis elbow, which I haven't been able to play golf in like two months. I will say this is the slowest healing fucking injury that I've ever had in my entire life. Like it's apparently supposed to take like six to twelve months for it to heal, Jesus. but. You, you know, that's, I think, without doing any work on it or whatever. So I've had my my deep tissue guy working on it. I did dry needling today, which is acupuncture, which I've had a lot of acupuncture, but like into the tendons and into the muscles. Didn't hurt as bad as I thought it would. So anyway, I got to keep going back. But you know what else happened? I got what, rid of my what? piece of shit Tesla. Hey! Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, I saw what you're replacing it with. Fucking awesome. What are you replacing it with? Yeah, I'll tell you that off the show. Mm-hmm. So okay. um, we are... Yeah, so they finally bought it back for me. I tried to get them to buy it back in the beginning because I knew it was a piece of shit. But I went through having to have it for 18 months. Did the Florida Lemon Law help you out? It did. Oh, oh yes, nice. Because... So, Here's the thing that I that I looked up for the lemon law. It's it's the same issue three times, or it says fifteen cumulative cumulative days in service, which I think is drastically low. Like, what are we talking about? Fifteen days? Is that for real? Like, I mean, you how long was that car in service for? One hundred and twenty seven days. <laughs> like he didn't have it for months. <laughs> Four months I didn't have the car. Oh my god. 127 days. Wow. And the last time it was in service, it was supposed to be like a three week thing, turned into four, turned into five, turned into six. After the fourth week, I said, I let me talk to the GM. I said, hey, Mr. GM, I don't want this piece of shit anymore. I'm not picking it up from you. Take it back, figure out a way for them to buy it. I don't want the car. So he put in the request. They approved the request. Uh, got a bunch of money for it because it was based off what I bought it for. Oh. In comparison to what it actually is worth market value. Oh, nice. Is a very big difference. So I told Steph, I was like, I don't even care if I wanted to keep the car. I can't keep the car. Like, this is a business decision. Like, that's a, that's a very large swing in money. You take the car. And uh, I'll go get something else. Nice. Well, I'm glad that ended. That was because that was a crappy experience for you. Really, I know it's a crappy experience, but I I have a I have a question. So, you know, are you just anti Tesla? Are you just think you got unlucky and you just got a really bad? No, I got a really bad car. I have a lot of friends that have them that love them. Because I was contemplating getting. Listen, Tao Tao is going to be 15 at the end of the year. Yeah. And for us to have electric cars so she can go back to school every day, I think it would probably be advantageous to have us. The rest of our cars are not going to be that, but like. For her car, I was looking at a Tesla. Was yeah, I mean, look, I think no? a Y would be great for her. Okay. Um, it's got storage. She can put her bags in there. Like it's, it's. I think it's a. I've had a lot of friends, a lot of clients. They love their cars. Have never had problems with them. Uh, okay. Mine was just a piece of shit. Gotcha. And right. I, I will, I'll never have another one. I gotcha. Because Maybe I don't want to deal with it. Um, and to be quite honest with you. That car was, I mean, as fast as, as balls. I mean, it's it was uncomfortably fast. So boring. Like, I was so bored in that car every day. Because oh. you don't just don't do that. You just you step on the gas every day. Is that what we're going to do? We're just going to step on it from traffic light to traffic light. So boring. What else are you going to do with a car? I've got some ideas. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I saw this really cool place in Atlanta. Yeah, okay. 
Uh-huh. Is it right by the gotcha. Four Seasons? Because Jenner's gotcha. going to be there. <laughs> Chad's looking me up. Uh, all right, we all uh, have we all answered. Uh, I think you just said you were fine. I don't, Jenner's, you're how are you? No, yeah, doing, so, so I know I'll be honest. So I saw you know, so we did the road trip and uh, good. I'll be honest. So uh, uh, yeah, Joe, the wife and I uh, both feeling a little bit a uh, little tubby. So we're doing a uh, we're doing a whole little health kick here in the household for the next ninety days. See what we can do. Okay, good. Yeah. Good. It's important. It is, you know. Got to stay, gotta stay healthy, buddy. Health is wealth at my advanced age. It's true, and you are more advanced than the rest of us. <laughs> Hello, bro. So one of my friends was making fun of the fact that uh, he was looking through uh, um, the master stuff, and he was saying that, uh, <laughs> he's like, bro, do you realize that Phil Mickelson is a... Uh, uh, is a senior and I'm like, bro, I'm two years younger than him, bro. Like, yeah, it fucking stings. Like, it was really cool when I was 16 and I was watching an 18 year old win that shit. When I'm 51 now and he's 53, and, oh yeah, he's one of the senior guys. I'm like, fucking dude, he is a senior guy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's upsetting. It hurts. Old, it stings a little bit. Dirt, old as dirt. Yeah, yeah. He's like the oldest guy in the field, I think. Yeah. Fucking balls. Jenner's. Uh, I'm tired. Okay. Oh, it's tired. But that's well, most. It is. It is. 9 30 on Wednesday. Man. Well, it's the grind. I take this is my second podcast of the day. We had a baseball game rained out today, which means everything at the radio station got completely uh, rearranged and torn up and put back together and, and not gonna get enough sleep tonight. I'm tired. But fine otherwise. <laughs> just always always tired. I'm sick and tired. <laughs> just sick and tired. Sick and tired. tired. Mm-hmm. There's I can look, we appreciate you doing other shows and stuff, but we know you you don't have this much fun anywhere else. So. Oh, no, no, by no means. Do I get to talk about how tired I am on other podcasts? <laughs> <laughs> We're giant dongs with oh. dumpsters. I mean, come uh-huh. on. True story. True story. I've heard that story before. True story. Nice. All right. Good one. So that's the show, right? Yeah, we've got, go. we've got some we got names to go it. through. Yeah. Yeah, we got a handful. Um, we'll start at the top of the show. The bees were turned on. Uh, I wrote this down because it's what Rose said when he came back from having to reboot in the wind with a chub. (laughs) I wrote down Julian Bell. Uh, Mm -hmm. We owe it to the people. I want to hear the prison stories. Mm. Thrice Eckies. (laughs) And Big Bird had the same outfit. I also had another one only because it had to be said again. Solicitated. Yeah, solicited. That's a good one. Solicited. Oops. Well, <laughs> uh, yeah, I think we're going with uh, right. Tracekis. I don't know the wind. Wind with the chub is pretty damn funny. <laughs> in, the mm. wind with the chub. in the wind with the chub. <laughs> in the wind with the chub. In the wind with the chubby. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs> All right, There's let's go. Dude, it's All so right. fucking random. <laughs> it's so oh my random. god! It's a slightly Asian Dave Matthews. <laughs> random roll. Oh, I said, random. hold on a second. Hold on. Don't go anywhere. I'm going to send this and I want to see your reactions. Oh, Jesus. I want to do it on the show. So I had to do some continuing education the other day. Okay. Oh, it didn't, didn't work. I huh? didn't delete this guy, did I? <laughs> it's thrilling. Hold on. Shut up. It's like staying oh. at the fucking Four Seasons Brickle. After it, after poor Jenner's are talking about how tired he is. <laughs> right, Hold know. on. Oh, hey, you know what? <laughs> Hold on, Jenner's. Sorry, but this is how it goes. This is Mike oh. Francesa oh looking through his phone. Right. I, 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 no, you no, probably no, left no, it in no, the no, Tesla. No, no, no. Hold no, no, no. On. Hold on. It's here. Hold no, on. No, no, no. No, it's, it's going to be worth it. So it's you can all fuck off. Hold on. It's coming. Uh-huh. It's coming? Yeah. Give me one second. You know, I'm here to entertain. My 17-inch penis is waiting. Yeah. So many shows. Watch your phones. Wrote down and just watch your phones. Who? Is, what, what? Who? Okay. Does that guy not look like Dave Matthews? Kinda. Yeah, it does. A little bit an old Dave Matthews. Yeah. A little fatter. I think, he, I think yeah. he more looks like the former Indianapolis center, Matt Saturday or Jeff Saturday. Jeff, Jeff Saturday. Saturday. Oh yeah, you got some Jeff Saturday there. Loves good hair. Bro, I'm watching this whole time. I'm going, and all I can think about is he's a slightly Asian Dave Matthews. <laughs> <laughs> but he's not. That's all I can yeah. think about. And he's not Asian at all. But that was not in any way whatsoever. Yeah. 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 I don't know why you see race and everything. Yeah. And nationality. Jesus. 
Yeah. Just take a few seconds on social media <laughs> and you'll figure that one out. All right, boys. All right, boys. So we're going to do this again next week. Talk about the spring game. Yes. There'll be some actual football to discuss. Yes. And it's and on we'll ACC see- Network. Yeah. And I, then we'll start believe, right? up. So you can watch it. Mm-hmm. I'm watching. We know what time it's having? No. Jesus. I don't. Okay. It's, ma- it's Masters, but I haven't even considered watching it. No, I got you. Well, I'm going to want to record it. Yeah. It's a good idea. Mm-mm. What time's it on? I have no idea. We have to record it like because we got to watch it back. Yeah, I got to watch it we back. Get the whole, we get the whole game? I don't know if we get the whole fucking game. <laughs> two I mean, o'clock? I hope so. I mean, the only 500 fucking people can go. You see two o'clock? I'm thinking around there most. I think last year wasn't it like three? I don't know. I think it's sometime in the afternoon. It's only like an so hour why and a half. Is this, why are we doing 500 people as opposed to like the spring games at... Uh, at I don't know. I don't know what the reasons. I'm guessing scheduling issues. Um, I'm guessing Inter Miami has, you know, is in the middle of their season. Tennis and F1 are kind of occupying Hard Rock right now in the spring. So I'm guessing that's there's no other third option. They could do it at uh, what uh, Traz Pal, uh, whatever it was, or yeah. Yeah, so I got to I got to record that. Four p.m. Four p.m. Got to see network. How long does it say it's on for? A couple hours. Doesn't just says kickoff at four p.m. Okay. Probably, probably oh, 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 got you. All right, got you. All right, good. Cool. All right. Good shit, boys. Oh, as always, go Canes. Go! Bange.